Troy Aikman is heading to ESPN, it looks like. Yeah, 90 mil. Woo. $90 million to call football games. Almost just, twice as much as he made his entire Cowboys career. Yeah. Okay, I'm just, I'm just telling you this right now. The discrepancy between what guys at the very top of this spectrum get in comparison to what guys at the bottom get is so huge, right? I, I'm going to be transparent with you, all right? I call games for ESPN. I get paid... I don't know if I want to tell you how much yeah, I get paid. Don't. I would you say don't, tell us, yeah. don't put an tell, actual number on it. Tell us offline. It's not It's not a million dollars a game. Okay, let's put it that way. <laughs> right. really? Not a million dollars a game. <laughs> right. I mean, no. I, I would have expected a better birthday gift for Cage if there was a million dollars. <laughs> I would have expected to be invited to Cage's party, but that's a whole other story. You did but. get invited, so stop. <laughs> Though. I knew that was coming. I will say this. Um, we do the exact same thing. <laughs> It's not the same game, right? right? I'm not calling Cowboys Packers. Right. I'm calling Kansas TCU. The more, audience isn't the same. More rabid fans, though. I think the fans are rabid as well. I work just as hard. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I, I feel like I do a pretty damn good job. Otherwise, I wouldn't keep getting the opportunities to do it, right? So... This is a public service announcement to Amazon, who has yet to fill their Thursday night role, okay? <laughs> you, whatever you were going to pay Aikman, you can pay me half, all right? <laughs> I'll do it for half. I'll work my tail off for you. I'll be incredibly good, and it will be better news because it's going to be polarizing. Half the people are going to hate it. The other half of the people are going to love it. It's going to be such a big news story, you're going to get more bang for your buck. So I know, Bezos, you're an Amazon God and you love to have as much marketing as you can. Who who better? Who better than than Ryan Leaf right now to call the Thursday night game? <laughs> I wonder who should, I should call it with though. Good question. That's really the next that's, question that's you the have to question. answer. You Boss? already have the answer now for who's going to be the the color commentator for Thursday night football. Can I be the first to congratulate you? Yes. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Us. you. Three man booth. Yeah. Let's go. You could be on the, I think I'd like you on the sideline. I think Brockman and I could be great as two sideline reporters, just giving like some weird (laughs) info and intel during the game. Right. When like when the guys, I tasted the Gatorade before the game. The orange is a little strong. Going to need a little more water mixed in back to you. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to get the real insight, like when the the offensive lineman or the player can't get to the bathroom fast enough, then everybody has to hold towels up. Hey, Ryan, I want to let you know that uh, the offensive lineman here, he dipped into the blue tent. He wasn't hurt. He had to go number two. Back to you. Ooh, that's that's, that's in the know right there. I'm down here with the defensive lineman. Man, they stink. (laughs) I mean, not like actual in their performance. I mean, just like physically, there's an odor coming from the left tackle. You guys would be great at it. See how we've kind of made this into a funny thing? It's it's still real, Amazon. <laughs> if you're out there. But telling them, people, the fans, give them the info that they want to know. You know? Yeah. They want to know these things. They, they want to know, know how the things. Gatorade tastes. Inside. Inside the inside. Like, TJ's not just going to report that the lineman is in there in the blue tent. Taking, he's going to physically get in the blue tent to confirm that the number two is happening. I, I'm yeah, really I'm su- I'm like, surprised there hasn't was been he, a point where, 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 where a sideline on? reporter hasn't burst into the, the, the tent before just to get the <laughs> scoop on something. Yeah, what's going on here? Right? Yeah, a little too much respect for the blue tent. Too like, much let's respect the extra for mile. Like, flimsy pieces of fabric that's, you know, it's it's not the it's not the velvet rope or the stopping you getting well, into the club. you ain't getting through this. Right. <laughs> I mean, I it's a know. flimsy tent that it's flips up and down. Come on, Lisa Salters. Get inside the blue tent. Poke your head in. Be like, hello. Evan Washburn, you got this. Well, Chris Brockman and TJ Jefferson will do that when we're on the sideline. Catherine Tappan, come on. Do you know what I have going for me, though, in all this? You're tall? That. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm also a former Cowboys quarterback. That's true. Ah. That's all it takes, man. Now, I don't know if you have to be a great former Cowboys quarterback. Did you win a game? No. Oh, shoot. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll have Rich when we come back here on the Rich Eisen Show. Um, <laughs> Dean, no, I didn't win a game. All right. So let's, let's just, well, I mean, I was on the roster when we won a game. I wasn't the starting quarterback. Oh, and th- three is a start. Did you throw a touchdown Dallas. for us? I did. Okay. Yeah. Boom. By the way, exactly yeah. one. Yep. Do you remember who you threw it to? Uh, well, it. tight end Jackie Harris. Oh, <laughs> Jackie Harris. I don't think you threw the ball to Jackie Harris. Yeah. Tight end. 
Oh, Jackie Harris. Okay, my bad. I was thinking yeah. Jackie Smith for some reason. I was like, no, you didn't throw the ball to Jackie Smith. I got asked the question on Lebetard's show the other day to name all the Jackie receivers Harris. that had caught my touchdown passes in the NFL. And I got him. You did? I couldn't believe it. I got him. Yeah, yeah, Jackie Harris did catch a touchdown from you in the second quarter. Against the Atlanta Falcons. Against the Atlanta Falcons. Yep. Put, put you guys up 13-7. Yeah. There was a lot of games. A lot of games where we were up in the fourth quarter um, that we ended up losing. I'm not saying it's my fault. Or the defenses. You're kind of saying it's the defenses. Kind of saying it's the defenses. Yeah. Um <laughs> But I remember that, yeah. yeah. I had one touchdown pass. But so I have that going for me. So Amazon, if you want a former Dallas Cowboys quarterback. Look no further. Who works in the broadcasting side of things, is incredibly good at it. Tall. Uh, and tall. Mm-hmm. Uh, and tan. And Great. lean. Great you hair. And you lean now. Yeah. Not hair. fatty McFadderson anymore. And he brings two guys with him. And I bring two guys with me. You hit a golf ball really far. Yeah. Thank you. That's a big part of it. <laughs> it's true. I, I, there's a challenge here. There's Confirm. also a, a celebrity golf tournament in Tahoe every year that I've been clamoring to get into. Yeah, we need to get you in that. I need to get in that because that ultimately could get me the job because I will go and I will beat Tony Romo in that. Yes. Day. I feel good about this. Man. Yes. Brockman, get ready. Meet you and Ryan Leaf. We're I mean, there is, a, there is, a, there is a, a groundswell of support for this, I do believe. It starts here. It may be delusionally made up in my mind, but I feel there's a groundswell <laughs> of me being the Thursday night Color commentator. This is not a joke, people. Hashtag leave for Thursdays. Let's go, bro. Let's do it. Let's hey, get it. Let's you, get it trending. You had a really good game in 2000 against the Broncos. Oh, I know. Thursday night. Leaf. All three of my touchdowns were over 50 yards, I think, in that game. And Gus Farrat threw for 460 that oh, game. Oh, I know. They were down by so much. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.